Folkestone is an art school. This is an example of how I use um, extracts in diaries and turn them into paintings. So this says, the 24th of December 2005, I phoned up the guy at the gallery. He said he had sold several paintings for £25,000, but he only had 78 pence left. I ran round there. Outside was parked a motley collection of old Jaguars a four by, and a 4x4. Four four. Inside, he was in a terrible state, out of his mind on booze and drugs. A naked young woman covered in tattoos and piercings with her front two uh, teeth missing smiled at me. <laughs> I said, for God's sake, tell me you didn't spend all my money on those old cars, booze, tarts and drugs. He looked sheepish and he said, sorry, Bob, they paid me in cash. I said, you bastard. He said, don't be like that. It's nearly Christmas. It's a tough, dirty job being an artist, but some poor devil's got to do it. Paul played Reading first in 1981. Although the singer is hard to listen to, the band are really great. That first time they had two drummers. Fellow artist David Burroughs told me that uh, the French critic Nicolas Burio had been a drummer in The Fall. I met Burio and I asked him if this was true. He said, no, not really. In the late 70s, I used to live in London. I was a big music fan. There was a gig in a squat in Beck Road and I played the drums with the fall for a couple of songs. Nicholas Burio is an art critic and curator who in the 1990s became important because he produced a collection of essays, Relational Aesthetics. Yeah, this is bizarre. This was in the Tate earlier this year in this show, Automodern. And for this show I... Um, I spoke to Nicholas Burio, who was the curator of this uh, exhibition every week, and I made a piece, and I could take it in there on a Friday and just leave it in the Tate. So it was a, it was really an amazing thing to do, and um, and so each week I sort of some of them were, I departed from this principle, but a lot of them I just I just wrote what our conversation had been on the phone, and. Uh, so this one says, I said to Burio, I suppose Mark E. Smith is modernist and Amy Winehouse is ultra-modern. The exhibition was called Ultra-Modernism. It was his idea of how art might progress in the future. He said, in the domain of forms, there is no difference. The problem is to be informed. I said, well, what's on your iPod? You've got to up the ante, you've got to up the ante, up the ante. Inspiration comes in many forms. Don't discount stimulants like coffee. 
and alcohol. But don't touch the harder stuff. It's really dangerous. So these are actually uh, these are actually postcards decorated by my uh, French artist friend called Le Swiss Moroccan. The Swiss Moroccan, and they're fun. I think it's partly influenced by uh, these slogans, make pasta not war, instead of make art not war. Oh, here's make art not war. New York City. <laughs> les derniers sont les derniers. Make pasta not all. L'amour, Bagrav. Love's not bad. Your homework this week is the homework for the rest of your life. I hope you've enjoyed watching these Folkestone Triannual YouTube films and you'll feel equipped to go out there and make art. It's a tough, dirty job being an artist, but someone's got to do it and it might as well be you.